I mean, just the sheer fact that you have all this stuff here is like an adult man's heaven. <laughs> for all you ladies that don't understand why your husbands go to the, any type of store and they're there for hours, just think about you guys going to like a Louis Vuitton store or a Gucci store and everything that you like is there and you're just in there looking at things. It's the same thing, same concept. And even if we don't need it, new toys are fun. Right? Hey, right, exactly. Hey guys, we're here with Bryce Butler today talking fairways and hybrids. We're gonna go through a fitting, find what's best for him. Ready to rock? Let's go, baby. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. You wanna go higher, lower, fight the fade? What you know, what are we trying to do? Just get something that I can rely on, right? Okay. Um, if I can if I can believe and trust, like I got a 245-yard shot into a par five or whatever. Do I believe that this hybrid will make it there? So if nothing else, then uh, Bryce, let's just have you hit that, get a general idea of how that guy performs. So we saw your club head speed is hanging right around 110. So getting you into an extra stiff is totally cool. As you get more comfortable with it, you get loose, you're only gonna swing faster anyway. Right. So I think uh, that's perfect for you. We see your average launch was right around 14. Uh, you can notice here for your speed, that's awesome, right? That 14 is exactly where we want you to be. And then your backspin is just shy of 2,000. It puts you on the lower end of optimal, still in the green. And honestly, if you're going to air, slightly on the lower side is the better of the two. Okay. Especially considering you told me, if anything, you hit a little bit of a fade. Uh, because ultimately what that creates for you is then a descent angle of about 37. So that's the angle it lands when it hits the ground. Okay. Uh, so honestly, like if we were doing a driver fitting today, I'd give you that and say, send, go, you, go, send go, you on yeah, your way. Yeah, yeah, we're in a good spot. <laughs> uh, so we're going to probably look for a descent angle that's at least getting close to 40, if not even into the 40s. That'd okay. be awesome. Okay. So uh, that descent angle is going to be a really important number for us. We're going to be fitting for really two things. The, di the distance, carry ideally, yep. and then that descent angle. And really okay. trying to find that combination that gets us close to, again, probably about a two... 70-ish carry, I think it'd be great, 275 maybe, okay. uh, while still having a descent angle close to 40. 40. It'll be okay. a kind of, and then we'll use the rest of these numbers to kind of help uh, change those out. Okay. Sound good? Perfect. Yep, sounds good. All right, baby. so let's, uh, let's we'll get, get our it. first one in the mix. And we'll roll into uh, a Callaway model just to kind of keep it consistent. It'll be just the newer version of the Rogue that you have now. Sounds good to me. All right. All right, so we'll go uh, Paradigm Triple Diamond. Uh, we got the 15 head, we put it in the draw. Yeah, we're gonna plus, put it in the draw plus, plus, one. plus one. So we'll bring it up to 16 degrees. Okay. Uh, and then we're gonna go with the Hazardous Black Gen 4. Uh, be a similar Project X version to the TR that okay. you have now, that you just tested there. I'd rather you hit a couple shots, Let's good, see. bad, indifferent. Yeah. We'll look at the numbers and then we can, we can always come back and do it again. All right. Uh, if we look at the individual shots, we see descent angle 36, 33, kind of 140 in there. That was the one that you blocked. Yeah, uh, right, the bad one, yeah. But that was then, as far as the numbers go, the best one you hit, where you got to about a 13 degree launch, backspin was almost 3,000. We can see some of these other ones, just launch angle super low. Mm -hmm. um, which again, when you're hitting a very low lofted club off the deck, it's to be expected, but the general design of the triple diamond is it's gonna be low spin, lower launching. And if height is what we're trying to do, it's Same probably it. not what we want, yeah. Seeing it. And we can, I mean, honestly, probably knew that going into it just because <laughs> it's something you're familiar with, we wanted to give it a shot. Okay. So what I wanna do next, we keep the same shaft, at least for consistency sake. We're gonna go in just to the regular paradigm in the 3HL, basically okay. a forward. Uh, and it's 16 and a half to start with. I think I'm even gonna make it 17 and a half. We can always dial it back if we need to. Okay. Especially because the next club you're gonna carry is probably gonna be somewhere around like 20 degrees. Okay. Uh, it'd be maybe even like 21. Okay. So we just kinda wanna figure out that loft gap. Right. Uh, this one you can obviously tell is a little bit more open. Okay. Um, it looks a little bit more inviting to hit just because of like the lines that they have set mm -hmm. up. So right now, I'm feeling like I'm about to bomb these. Okay. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it's a better start man. already. My, my guess, you said the degree loft can change the spin too. Yep. Would it be the higher the degree, the higher the spin? Kind of like 
like yep. a pitching wedge versus a Correct. Driver. Yeah, in general, the more aloft you have, the more it's going to spin, all else being equal. Uh, so we see launch angle 10. So again, we do have a little bit more room to hit it higher, but the good news is when you do hit your stock shot, we see the spin is at least creeping to where we need it to be. Right. And even we have some room to spare. So it's about 3,300. We can get all the way up to like 4,000 and still call it good. Yeah. Uh, because now we're starting to sneak into that 40 degree descent angle range to where it's going to hit and hold. Yep. Again, we still like to see the carry distance be a little bit greater, but we're at least seeing a general range of what kind of launch conditions uh, start checking some of those boxes for us. Yep. Uh, just relative to the triple diamond, give me your thoughts on that one. I know you, oh, I mean, I love it. More so when you hit it. Like it didn't, like I didn't have to do a lot to get it up. I know the yeah. launch angles were a little low, but it still was getting up in the air. Yep. Um, and that's exactly what I need because I don't want to fly greens and, you know, or I, or I hit it short and it runs by yeah. the green. I don't want that no more. Or it lands on the green, keeps going. Yeah, right. Yeah. I don't and want that no more. The triple so. diamond's an awesome club as well, too. It's just designed for a high spin player. And yes. again, you're, uh, not that you're you have your high yeah. speed, uh, but your spin's uh, totally under control. So right. I don't think we need to go that route. If anything, we could add a little more. Okay. So let's uh, let's change it up though. We're gonna go entirely different brand. Let me grab okay. that one from you. Yep. Ping. Yep. So we're gonna go Ping G430 Max. Okay. We're gonna set it uh, to 16 and a half degrees. Same story. Make it like a uh, make it like a four wood. Yep. So one thing, uh, a couple cool things about the ping. One, I like just the general shaping they do uh, and the profile of the face. So they make their fairways, and hybrids too, but fairways especially, it's a really shallow face. Okay. So especially whenever you're hitting it off the ground, uh, it makes it much easier to get the CG or the sweet spot of the fairway wood uh, below the CG of the ball, which helps us to hit it a little bit higher. Right. So traditionally, they're pretty easy to get up in the air. Uh, and then they've added some composites to the woods this year. Uh, they've changed the curvature of the face a little bit as well, too, to make them a little more forgiving on low strike okay. as well, too. So it's really an awesome club uh, off the deck in particular. And then we paired it up with our, uh, our Ventus 8X Blue. All right. These are very... Very great bad shots, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Uh, so we do see exact same ball speed, so 152. Okay. Uh, but we do see backspin significantly more with the uh, Ping G430 Max. Yeah. Uh, so almost yeah, more than a thousand RPM more, but then also higher launching as well too. But now we're getting, especially at your speed, the backspin is going to be what hurts you the most. Yeah. Like if your spin's good but your launch is a little low, that's typically going to work better for you than launch angle really nice. But then backspin too high. Too high. Uh, yeah. You can almost tell like the opposite for a low speed player. If the backspin's too high, typically won't hurt him as much. But then now your backspin's or your uh, descent angle so high, we're off the charts. Right. So we said we wanted to get into the 40s. <laughs> we did that and then some though. So uh, and again, a little bit of that is the fade. But then there is just some characteristics in the club that do tend to cause a little bit more of a uh, um, higher ball flight okay. and higher spin in there as well too. See what we got coming up next. See if I can hit it straight, because I didn't hit that last one straight at all. All right, so we're going to go with the uh, Stealth 2 Plus. Uh, and the biggest difference on this one, relative to everything else thus far, is uh, this one is going to be titanium. Uh, okay. So it's titanium fairway wood, and then we have a 50 gram adjustable weight in the back. Uh, we're going to go with just loft first. Okay. So we're going to try to change the loft with the weight forward, uh, see what we get, and then we can tweak it bring the loft down, move the weight back. We can play around with this guy okay. a little bit. Now, if these are titanium, what are those? Uh, so both of those are uh, uh, steel uh, okay. with the composite, primarily an entirely composite body in the Paradigm, uh, composite crown uh, in the G430. Okay. Yeah, this one's titanium face, titanium body. Uh, we have the Ventus uh, Black okay. 7X in this one. Okay. So just testing some different versions of a similar shaft. Okay. Same thing though, it's a 260 in the air. So that's probably the closest we've got to the kind of carry that we're looking for. Right. Descent angle was 42. Okay, so that last shot, just looking at this guy down here. It was about 260 carry, and we did get the descent angle at 42, launch 12, backspin uh, 3000. Yep. So it's probably the closest we got 
uh, you know, just a single shot to, to uh, kind of where we're trying to get exactly. Right. Uh, so felt um, good too. I like the I like the way it felt off okay. the face. All right, so now we uh, kept the adapter in the same, basically have it in a four wood setting with the face slightly closed. We're moving the 50 gram weight all the way to the back, so it'd be the highest launching, highest spinning, and then went to a, just a slightly higher launching profile shaft. Okay, it's real light too. It's a uh, six. Yep, so a little bit lighter as okay. well too. So we're lighter, a little softer. Like I said, try to make big changes. Okay. Try to pull all the levers we can just to get the ball in the air more. Do a quick recap. We know you had some good things in there, but this didn't happen often enough. Right. So let's go kind of ball speed across the board. Uh, this is again throwing out some of the poor ones. 150 average Callaway, 146 ping, uh, and then Taylor made 152, and you had your best ball speed with the Taylor made at 156. Yeah. So definitely the fastest. Uh, descent angle was 42 uh, with the Taylor made, 38 ping, and 44 uh, with the the Callaway, that was also with the one he had the tee that was really high. Yeah. So that is, that is distorted in that a little bit. And, um, as far as numbers go, it's definitely Callaway or TaylorMade. Uh, I think performance-wise, honestly, I like the TaylorMade just a little bit better. I think uh, the numbers are landing a little more vertical with more speed, so you can get that combination of getting the distance we want. I like the TaylorMade, too. Okay. Yeah. TaylorMade was solid. Even though it seemed like on average I couldn't hit the ball solid at all, but we'll figure. I like it though. You can see I what like that it. miss hit is. Get a little yeah, bit of uh, a little misses. bit of the top of the golf ball, but yeah. I mean that's that's going to be everybody's miss when it comes to a fairway. All right. So now next up, we're going to talk uh, hybrid. Well, let me put a couple together and uh, hit them. All right, Lucky, here's where we're going to start. So first one we'll test out then will be uh, the I crossover from Ping. We have it in the three, uh, just in the upright. Standard loft, a 20 degree loft, 85X in their Tor Chrome shaft. Let me make one tweak on that one real quick, Bryce. I want to add some loft just to see if we can get a little more height out of it. All right, next one up, we're going to go uh, Mizuno. So Mizuno is a new STZ line. Uh, we're going to go with 75 gram uh, Link. That's a Link. Yep, Link yes. Blue. Block. Yep, felt that. All right, we're going to throw a Callaway back in the mix. So we're going to okay. go with Paradigm. Uh, we're going to play this one down to about 20 degrees of loft again. Okay. See, it's always that first ball. Yeah, it's that's the first miss, one. It's, good, it's like, let's just go. The good news is that's all you get to do when you're on the course. <laughs> the 230, so you got the, in that kind of carry window, we're looking 230, 240. And descent was 39, so just maybe a little shallower Shy. than we want, but. See, it's the first ball. Then I lose it. But that's not Can't good. face it. Ah, dang, ain't on a good one, B. That's it. For all you youngsters out there watching this video, never leave on a bad shot. Yeah, Dang! Be. That's low. All right, whatever. I lied about what I said a second ago. Uh, to me, there's kind of two definitive standouts when it came to the hybrids. Uh, one was the TSR 2 that we hit there at the end, and then I think the other was the, the Callaway Paradigm. Uh, we can do it a little bit heavier in the shaft there, too, if that is what you like. Okay. Uh, so grab those two guys. Yep. I mean, you can see when you put them down, they do have a similar footprint. They were the two that were the deepest front to back. Yes. Uh, and as far as numbers go, uh, we do see, though, I think the numbers did stand out slightly more when it came to the Titleist. We have slightly better distance. Uh, we covered the distance variable better with the TSR2. Okay. We covered the descent area uh, variable a little bit better with the Paradigm. Okay. So there's just a little bit of kind of prioritizing. Do you want to make sure you get the 240 carry and it might roll out a little bit more right. versus you get a little more of like a 230, 235 carry, it drops. but it's landing a little more vertical, correct? Yeah. And we're talking 
40 degrees versus 38. Right, right, so right. honestly, like when you're out there playing, it might do the exact same thing when it lands on the green. Yeah. But we do have slight differences in distances. Uh, and then obviously when you put it down, how you hit it, that all matters as well. All right. All right, well, this is how we make the design factor. I'm gonna hit one apiece. One, one apiece. Final, final show. The big challenge. All right. Which one makes it home with B? It's always uh, first shots. To this, I know. This year. So we're gonna take both first shots, or we're not gonna take a first shot. Sudden death. Let's go. This All right. Callaway Paradigm uh, is first up. Yep. Okay, not yeah. bad, nice but a little it's pulley, it's, but not bad. Yeah, but it's got the high ball flow like we've been saying, so. It's not again. bad. And then we're here, right? Yep, uh, TSR2. Yep. Correct. Okay, we're gonna get the distance piece, but a little bit uh, lower. I know which one I like, but you tell me. I like this one. Okay, that's what I think yeah, too. I, like, I, think, I think that one's, uh, much, like one, that one's yeah. much more just your ball flight as well too. Yeah. Uh, and again, there is some adjustability in there as well too. If you did need to bring it up, bring it down, whatever right. the case is. So I do think based off what you said earlier, kind of covering the numbers seem to be slightly more important yeah. uh, than the height pieces. Well too. So, all right. Oh yeah. Still works? Yeah, it still works. All right, good. We have to start all over. <laughs> Perfect. I think we are all set then, Bryce. Any questions for me? Nah, man. Uh, this was fantastic. I appreciate you Absolutely. sending me through, uh, tolerating all my bad right misses. I don't know. We could have made this really quick just to get one ball with every club. <laughs> but pretty much the first shot every time we, yeah. knew, we knew what we were getting. Yeah, but no, nah, it was great. I mean, Good. it was interesting just knowing I've basically been hitting Callaway for a long time. Yeah. Um, and then to see, obviously, being able to hit different clubs different styles, um, branching out a little bit. If I was yep. an extrovert when it came to being, you know, one kind of brand, now saying that I like a three-wood that's a tailor-made and I have a hybrid that's going to be a Titleist, which is cool. So yep. I appreciate it, man. Yeah, absolutely. They all make good stuff. So find yes, the one sir. for you. But I appreciate you making the trip. Yes, I enjoyed sir. it. Golf tech, baby.